You want to know how you can transform your Fallout 4 into this beautiful game? In this video I will show you exactly how it's done. This complete visual overhaul guide is separated into 4 sections covering different kinds of visual mods. If you're longer on my channel and watch my previous visual overhaul guide this won't be new for you. This video is intended as a complete compilation of these episodes. In the first section I want to cover the most important aspects of visual impression. Lighting and weather. Light and shadows are key making a game look volumetric, realistic and immersive. For example, everyone knows what drastic impact a beautiful shader has on Minecraft. For our case we have some different options out there. One of my favorites is realistic lighting. It changes light by making shadows darker and lights more prominent to their source, making the visuals less washed out and bloomy. It also changes some light sources, this way you're getting a much cleaner overall image and prettier contrast. A very popular alternative in the Fallout 4 modding community is enhanced lights and effects or ultra interior and exterior lighting that work in a similar fashion. Same as realistic lighting, it changes light sources and adds a few new ones for interiors making it more moody and atmospheric. So it will make your game a lot darker in various areas forcing you to walk around with your flashlight turned on all the time. Unfortunately, those mods are quite performance heavy, taking away roughly 30% of your frames. So if you're on a lower end computer, this ain't recommended for you. I played a lot with these mods, really liking it, but my pick of choice in comparison definitely would be realistic lighting. That's because another important mod also changes lighting outside and in the interiors as well. I'm speaking of natural and atmospheric Commonwealth 10, shortly NACX. The most important and pleasing weather and lighting overhaul on the Nexus at this point. Trust me, if you don't use this, you're missing a lot. NACX is a big overhaul of the game's visuals. Changing its lighting and weather creates the most atmospheric experience you can get. This mod provides many different visual effects and configuration options, exterior and interior lighting and brightness options, in B compatibility, weather related sound design such as rain, wind and thunder sound effects and many more. But the most important change, the weather. NACX provides more than 40 different weather templates, ranging from clear sunny to cloudy overcast skies or thunderstorms with heavy rain. Additionally, it adds some impressive apocalyptic weather like red storms, nuclear fog or fallout. If you're a fan of God Race, I strongly recommend installing NACX Water LOD God Race fix and enhancements, which brings them back to the game since NACX cuts them out. In alternative, there are other weather overhauls such as Vivid Wetters or True Storms, which are great by themselves but don't provide nearly as many configuration settings and variety as NACX. But if you want to use them anyway, I recommend installing the Darker Nights mod, which gives you the settings of changing the brightness of the night. Because Fallout 4's Vanilla Night seemed quite too bright for a realistic scenario and unfortunately Vivid Wetters and True Storms don't have such options. Now let's hop on the second part of this guide that will give Fallout 4 a completely different look. Reshade and ENB. To give you an explanation first, Reshade and ENB are graphical post-processing modifications you can add to your game. Adding options as ambient occlusion, depth of field, color correction, anti-aliasing, its very own shading and many many more. In the following I will briefly show you how to install those. If you know that already you can skip to the timestamp where I show you some of my favorite ENB presets. For Reshade, simply go to the website and download the latest version. As you can see there are two different variations here. Keep in mind this one with full add-on support is intended for single player games only and can lead to bans if you're using it in multiplayer. Now head to your download location and execute the installer. First select the game you want to install Reshade to, in our case it's Fallout 4. If you can find it in the list, click on Browse. Head to the location your Steam games are installed, open Steam Apps, 
common, Fallout 4 and select the Fallout 4 executable. Now click on next. Choose DirectX 11. Next. Here the installer asks you if you want to install a preset. If you don't, skip this part. This one is the main part. There are many different packages of visual effects you can choose from. Check the ones you would like to install, then click on next. Now it shows you all the various effects that are included in those packages you chose before. Again, select which ones you prefer and finish the installation process. If you now start the game, a text will appear at the top telling you Reshade is installed successfully. To make an effect on your game's visuals, load a save and press the position 1 key on your keyboard. Read the tutorial if you like and finally you can see the list of your installed visual options. Choose what you like and customize it to your likings. For ENB is also not really more difficult than that. First go to the ENB page I linked in the description. Choose the latest version on top, scroll down and click on the error for download. Now open that file, open the wrapper version, take both of these .dll files on top and drag them into your Fallout Forest directory folder. You just installed the base ENB files. If you now launch into your game, this text will appear. To get a drastic visual effect, the next step will be downloading an ENB preset of your choice. You can simply search the Nexus for popular options or you can try those I provided for this video. Links are in the description. Just download it manually and open it. This can differ now between various presets, but usually you'll find an ENB series folder, some .ini files and some FX files. Basically, everything that has somehow the name of ENB in it will be important except readme files. Just copy all of them into your Fallout 4 directory folder as before and you successfully installed ENB to your game. If you want to change some visual settings, open the ENB in-game GUI. It usually is shift and enter and adjust those settings to your likings. Make sure to save them right there when you're done. Now it's time for the ENB comparison. There are many presets that have their own unique look and add a whole different vibe to the game. I personally like using the decent ENB preset. As you can see it adds some contrast and emphasizes the colors by keeping it natural and crispy. A different one is Reactor. By adding some contrast, saturation and lifting the blue color it makes the game much more vibrant. It also adds some effects like lens blur and depth of field. If you find my content helpful, I'd be glad if you support my channel with your subscription. Since the release of Fallout 4 in 2015, there has been a big variety of mods that enhances its visuals by a lot. But perhaps the simplest change to make this game look much more beautiful is by installing texture and model mods. In this video section, I will show you my favorite ones. The first one is Vivid Fallout All-in-One. A composition of many texture overhauls from Hein 84 that change the appearance of landscapes, trees, rocks and buildings. This one is very popular on the Nexus not without a reason. It comes in different resolutions and options. My second choice is High Resolution Texture Pack. It changes a lot of interior textures, mostly furniture like desks, shelves, lockers, doors or the desk fan. It is available in a 2K and in a 4K version. The next one has a great variety in all kinds of textures and objects all around the Commonwealth. I'm speaking of Luxor 8071's HD texture pack all in one. Actually, he released 5 of those. You can install them all or just choose the ones you prefer. He also released a big HD texture overhaul mod that replaces most of the game's textures while being less performance heavy. This is a great alternative for the official Fallout 4 high resolution texture add-on. But be aware, this mod comes in many files, each with several gigabytes of data. So this will take a while, especially with Nexus limited download speeds. Nevertheless, I really recommend taking your time to do this, because this overhaul is truly amazing and will improve performance a bit also. If you don't like the Quarry's vanilla look, I strongly recommend using Fallout Texture Overhaul Quarry. 
Jester's better destroyed vehicles finally will make the cars look like they have been standing around in the wild for over 200 years. Giving them textures a higher resolution and adding some extra rust to make those vehicles look extra immersive. And finally, to give one of Fallout's most iconic pieces a sharper look, try DP Larry's different power armor retextures, giving them a high defined look, making that metal surface look super realistic and crispy. Now let's take care of Fallout 4's ugly environment. Fallout 4 Vanilla is known for its dead post-apocalyptic environment. But don't you think after 200 years nature already would have recovered? For this case, I got Grasslands a Fallout 4 grass overhaul for you. A beautiful upgrade to the dead dried out grass, making it lively and vibrant. It comes in a healthy and an unhealthy version, as well with some different performance options. Additionally, I recommend using better landscape grass with this or any other grass mod. This will eliminate clipping grass through concrete and in places it couldn't grow on. But those trees are still dead. Try Boston Natural Surroundings. This will add and replace those with healthy and strongly grown pine and spruce trees, changing the commonwealth into a beautiful forest. Damn boy, he fit. But in case you like the post-apocalyptic dead look of Fallout 4, I got you cover too. Natural grasses and ground covers is a great alternative to the vanilla textures in changing the patchy soil brush into dense up grass. In combination with dead forest overhaul, this will add some extra dead trees and will make your game look like Boston in fall season. Realistic Roads is a must-have texture overhaul for Fallout 4's washed out roads. This mod is available in a 2K and a 4K version, as well as a black and a faded variant. If you don't like the vanilla cross rocky gravel textures or those of different texture overhauls, try Gravel Redone. It changes the rough profile into a less grainy variation that comes in a 4K resolution. When it comes to water, this is really about your own preference to color, clearness and your ENB if you're using one. There are many different options on the Nexus you can choose from. I tested a lot of them and I can recommend Wasteland Water Revival. Water Enhanced, this comes in a 2K, 4K and 8K option. Water Enhancement Textures, shortly wet or real water HD for ENB2. I like using the Decent or Decent Plus in B with the Wasteland Water Revival overhaul in the clear option. So that's how you can make your Fallout 4 look like a completely different game. I provided all mods in the video description as well as my whole mod list. If you like my content and want to see more about Fallout 4 modding, consider subscribing. Don't forget to like this video and until next time.